All right, people, this is Sakurabo 1982 here, coming from the UK with my first impressions video of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This can't actually be a review video because I've only played about five or six hours of the game. So it is kind of a review, but I can't give a full review as it's unfair to judge a game only on that amount of gameplay. But what I can tell you about The Witcher 3 is the game is absolutely freaking amazing when i put down my money for my xbox one and my playstation 4 this is the sort of game i imagine playing up to this point in time most of the games that have been released have also been released on the last gen of platform the playstation 3 and the xbox 360 and i cannot help but feel that games have been held back by having to be gimped for the older generation of consoles you simply can't get this style of game to this level on the last gen consoles it's on pc playstation 4 and the xbox one i currently own the game on the xbox one and that is the game you're seeing footage for in the background here in the video i have actually played the playstation 4 version as well and just to put it to rest guys i have to be honest the game does look a fair bit better on the playstation 4 the frame rate does appear to be better on the xbox one version but they have had to lower the detail of the game just that little bit to keep the frame rate around 32 to 33 frames per second but even so the game is a really nice looking game on both platforms obviously if you're a frames per second haul if you really want the best experience then you need to be playing this game on the pc just like the other witcher games even though the witcher one was only on pc as many of you are aware the xbox 360 had a great version of the witcher 2 which is more than serviceable if you don't have the game on pc so why exactly is the witcher 3 such a bitching game i suppose if i really had to explain it to you it's like playing the Witcher 2 mixed with Red Dead Redemption. It's still got the story and the feeling of a Witcher game, but you're able to go open world just like you are in Red Dead Redemption. You've got your horse called Roach, you can ride around the countryside, and you're going to pick up missions from the notice boards in the main town. You're going to pick a point in the map which is maybe two minutes away. You're going to get on your horse and attempt to go where you're going, but before you know it, you're going to end up veering off the beaten track and ending up in a side mission before you even get to where you was originally going. It's one of those sort of games you're going to come across a bandit camp you're going to hit over here a conversation and you're going to find another mission on your way so it really does pay to explore the countryside you just cannot help but get sucked into the side content of this game and there's reports that people are playing this game for over 200 hours it's absolutely massive now i've always been an advocate of the witcher series and i'm always trying to get people to try the witcher one and two one of the main complaints that people always say to me are one of two things the witcher two is too darn hard and I can't get off the first area or secondly I'm just not feeling the story I'm not feeling the game in general and I think they've certainly listened to some of these criticisms I personally have never had an issue with number one the story of either of the Witcher games or the difficulty of the second game but if you're picking up the Witcher series for the first time with the Witcher 3 don't worry they do hold your hand a lot more than they did in the tutorial of the Witcher 2 enhanced edition you will be able to get into the game at a more reasonable point pace and the open world nature being very similar to some of the open world games out there I think you're going to be able to pick up this game if you haven't played The Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 and have an absolutely cracking time. One of the biggest things I've really tweaked in the third game is the responsiveness of the combat. The combat is one of the things that people really don't get about the first and second game. It's all about timing your counters, but they've certainly improved that for the console crowd. You know, it's much easier to pick up the combat. That's not to say this game is a cakewalk or it's a breeze, but it's certainly easier to learn the niches of the combat combat in this game than the previous ones and we're coming to the end of this video now and i haven't talked about the most important improvement they made in the witcher 3 opposed to any other rpg ever made of all time are you ready for this this game has a new feature called dynamic real-time beard growth Yes, you heard it here, folks. You start the game, you get clean shaven. The longer you play, the longer your beard grows. And you can keep shaving that son of a bitch. And you can have a short beard or a long beard, but it grows in real time. Now, that is something, something really small, but I do think that really helps immerse you in the game environment. So, folks, if you can't catch on to my upbeat tone in this video, I think The Witcher 3 is absolutely amazing what I've played of it so far anyway 
The game review sites out there are giving this 9.5s and 10 out of 10s. There's a reason they are giving you that. You know, this game is massive. There's shed loads of content and what's there is absolutely brilliant. Um, there's always going to be your naysayers out there. You know, um, The Last of Us got great scores. There's always one or two people who will shit on the game which gets good scores and say it's overhyped, this and that. But play the game, man. Go out there and give it a go. Even if you didn't like The Witcher 1 or The Witcher 2, this game quite possibly is going to be Game of the Year 2015. If the rest of this game is like the beginning of the game, wow. Just wow. You deserve to try this game out, man. It is an RPG with action elements, but it is certainly more RPG than action game. You know, if you've been playing Dark Souls or Bloodborne and it's all slash, 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 you know, parry, slash, combat, combat, combat. That is not The Witcher, man. It does have combat in it, and there is a lot of combat, but it is more of an old-school RPG, and that is absolutely magnificent, man. My first impressions, I freaking love this game. Check it out. I honestly think you should, and I will hit you with a real review, a full review, when I complete the game. Anyway, guys, I'm going back to playing. This is Sakuraba1982 signing off. This is my boomstick!